Well, it was sentencing day for former Trump Organization Chief Financial Officer Alan Weisselberg. That's right. He learned his fate after pleading guilty to multiple tax crimes as part of an investigation into former President Trump's business empire. Jessica Formoso live in Lower Manhattan with just how much time he's going to be serving. Jess. Good evening, Stephen Natasha. The 75 year old will be spending five months at Rikers Island, along with five years probation. And that sentencing starts today. He was let out of the courtroom in handcuffs. And one thing to note, he walked into the courthouse in very casual clothing, not his suit that he usually wears. And his lawyer said the reason why he was in casual clothing is because he knew he would be going to jail today. Now, his sentence was of no surprise since it was what he was promised back in August when he agreed to plead guilty to all 15 counts of tax fraud and to be a key witness against the Trump Organization fraud trial. It was Alan Weisenberg's testimony that helped convict the former president's company. Now, what was shocking today, his lawyer did ask for a lesser sentence to, ser to serve about two and a half months in jail and the rest under house arrest. But the judge said his sentence was actually too lenient and should have been tougher. The reason the judge said that was he, after listening to evidence during the trial, specifically specifically about a $6,000 check that he gave his wife for a no-show job so she could qualify for Social Security benefits. The judge said she was not entitled to that money. Now, according to prosecutors, Weisselberg was the chief financial operator for the Trump Organization and worked for the Trumps for most of his life. Now, um, this was part of a tax evasion scheme of nearly $2 million. Prosecutors say the untaxed benefits included perks for himself, a free apartment here in the city, luxury cars, and paid Ivy League tuition for his grandkids at Columbia and Brown University. Now, this afternoon, after he was sentenced, his lawyer spoke to the media and said that he apologizes to the Trump family. He deeply regrets the lapse in judgment that resulted in his conviction, and he regrets it most because of the pain it has caused his loving wife his sons, and wonderful grandchildren. Mr. Weisselberg also regrets the harm his actions have caused to the Trump Organization and members of the Trump family. He is grateful to them for their continued support throughout this difficult chapter of his life. Now, as part of his deal, he also had to pay back $2 million in unpaid taxes, interest, and penalties, and we're told by the judge that he did pay that total amount. We're live outside of um, the courthouse tonight. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Steve Natasha, back to both of you. All right, thanks, Jess.